Hi everybody, I'm Miss Sage and welcome to Family Storytime at the Sewickley Public Library. Make sure to tune in each week for more virtual story times. Babies and books on Tuesdays, stories for twos and threes on Wednesdays, preschool story time on Thursdays, and family story time on Fridays, all at 9.30 on our YouTube channel. I'd like to thank Harper Festival, North South Books and Clarion Books for their permission to read their stories. Let's go ahead and get started with a special Thanksgiving story time. We're first gonna sing our welcome song, Everybody Have a Seat. Everybody have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Everybody have a seat on the rug. Not on the ceiling, not on a bug. Everybody have a seat on the rug. Our first story today is called A Turkey for Thanksgiving, written by Eve Bunting, illustrated by Diane DeGroote. It was Thanksgiving morning. Mr. Moose helped Mrs. Moose at the Thanksgiving table. Sheep will sit here. He likes a chair that's straight up and down, Mr. Moose said. Rabbit here, porcupine here, Mr. and Mrs. Goat here. He smiled at his wife. Isn't it nice to have friends to share Thanksgiving? Mrs. Moose set two paper pilgrims, one at each end of the table. She placed the paper turkey with its great fan of a tail between the candles and stood back. They look good, my dear, Mr. Moose said. Mrs. Moose sighed. Yes, but I wish we had a real turkey. Everyone always has a turkey for Thanksgiving, everyone but us. Mr. Moose nestled Mrs. Moose's head. Well, that won't do. I will go this minute and find you a turkey for Thanksgiving. Mr. Moose put on his cap and went out. Mist wandered through the bare trees. The cold made his nose water. Rabbit poked his head from his rabbit hole. Mr. Moose, is it dinner time? Not quite yet. Mrs. Moose wants a turkey. I'm off to find one. Rabbit joined him in three quick hops. I'll come too. Do you see Rabbit? Moose's warm breath hung white in front of him. Snow crunched under his hooves and made little holes that Rabbit jumped over. I see the goats, Rabbit said. Mr. Goat raised his head and spat out the tin can he was chewing. Is it dinner time, he called. Not till I find a turkey, Mr. Moose said. We saw one down by the river, Mrs. Goat told him, and Mr. Goat added a fat one. The goats leapt down from their perch. We'll show you. Sheep was farther up the hillside looking round as a fur ball in his winter coat. Is it dinner time, he bellowed. First, I have to find a turkey, Mr. Moose bellowed back. There's a turkey nest on the riverbank, Sheep called. Wait for me. The earth smelled of ice and moss as they crunched along. Above them, a crow hung, black as a puff of wood smoke. Porcupine was hiding in the underbush. It's you, he said, and put his quills down. We're off to get a turkey for Mrs. Moose, Mr. Moose explained. Do you want to come? I'm slow, Porcupine said. Pick me up on your way back. Who'd want to pick you up, Sheep asked and laughed his bleat of a laugh. I'll wait, Porcupine told Mr. Moose. They saw Turkey's nest right away and Turkey himself peering over the top of it. Turkey, Turkey, Mr. Moose called in his sweetest voice. Ah, Turkey blundered from his nest and ran. Mr. Moose lumbered after him. Turkey, don't run, we just want you for Thanksgiving dinner. Turkey ran faster. The sign said, do not disturb, come back after Thanksgiving and no turkey here. Mr. Moose saw the red and blue sheen of Turkey's neck. Turkey's tail brushed crumbs of snow behind him as he tried to fly. Too fat, Mr. Goat said. Turkey's legs bent in the middle as he fell. Mr. Moose put a booted hoof on his head and smiled his great toothy smile. I hope you don't have other plans for Thanksgiving, Turkey. He helped Turkey up. My wife won't mind that you're too fat, he said. Let's go, it's getting close to dinner time. 
They marched Turkey in front. I'm sorry about this, for I can see you don't want to come, Mr. Moose said, but I must insist a promise is a promise. There was a wreath of dried fruit on the moose's door. Inside the house was filled with Thanksgiving smells. Mr. Moose hid turkey behind him. Look who I brought, Mrs. Moose, he said. Sheep, the goats, rabbit, and porcupine. And ta-da! He pushed, he pushed turkey around in front of him. For you, a turkey for Thanksgiving. <clears throat> Mrs. Moose clapped her hooves. I'm so happy to have you, turkey. Thank you, Mr. Moose. Now everything's perfect. Shall we sit, she asked, heading for the straight up and down chair. Let's, Mr. Moose pointed. Rabbit here, porcupine here, Mr. and Mrs. Goat here, and look, I brought a chair from the other room in hopes of turkey. Uh, a chair, turkey stammered. Right next to me, Mrs. Moose said, light the candles, Mr. Moose. There were bowls of acorns and alfalfa sprouts, dried since summer. There was willow bark and cured grasses and wild parsley. There were pressed leaves, thin and pale as new ice on a pond. I hope you find something here to your liking, Mr. Turkey, Mrs. Moose said. I wasn't sure of your taste. You are so kind to worry about my taste, Turkey said. I thought you'd be worrying about how I taste. Heavens no, Mr. Moose smiled his big tooth smile and filled everyone's cup with cold spring water. It's so nice to have friends around the table at Thanksgiving. Turkey's waddles wobbled. It's even nicer to be at your table and not on it, he said. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving, Turkey. Next song is If You're Thankful and You Know It is to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. In this song, we're gonna clap our hands, stomp our feet, and shout, I am. Are you ready? Let's go. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're thankful and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're thankful and you know it, shout I am, I am. If you're thankful and you know it, shout I am, I am. If you're thankful and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're thankful and you know it, shout I am, I am. Our next story is called Over the River and Through the Wood, a Thanksgiving poem by Lydia Maria Child, illustrated with woodcuts by Christopher Manson. Over the river and through the wood to grandfather's house we go. The horse knows the way to carry the sleigh through the white and drifted snow. Over the river and through the wood, oh, how the wind does blow. It stings the toes and bites the nose as over the ground we go. Over the river and through the wood to have a first-rate play. Hear the bells ring, ting-a-ling-ding, hooray for Thanksgiving Day. Over the river and through the wood, trot fast, my dapple gray. Spring over the ground like a hunting hound, for this is Thanksgiving Day. over the river and through the wood and straight through the barnyard gate. We seem to go extremely slow. It is so hard to wait. Over the river and through the wood, now grandmother's cap I spy. Hooray for the fun, is the pudding done? Hooray for the pumpkin pie. Our 
Our next song is One Little, Two Little, Three Little Turkeys. One little, two little, three little turkeys. Four little, five little, six little turkeys. Seven little, eight little, nine little turkeys. Ten little turkeys all in a row. Can you help me sing it one more time? One little, two little, three little turkeys. Four little, five little, six little turkeys. Seven little, eight little, nine little turkeys. Ten little turkeys all in a row. Our last story today is called Thanks for Thanksgiving by Julie Marks, illustrated by Doris Barrett. Thanks for Thanksgiving for turkey and pie. Thank you for fall and gold leaves floating by. Thank you for school, I love to feel smart. Thank you for music and dancing and art. Thank you for playdates, for swings and for slides. Thank you for hopscotch and piggyback rides. Thank you for sweet puppies and soft furry cats. See how many creatures you can count on this page. There's a lot. Thank you for dress up, red shoes, and big hats. Thanks for umbrellas, for rain boots and puddles. Thank you for mommy and warm, cozy cuddles. Thank you for daddy and rides on a sled. Thank you for kisses and tucks into bed. <clears throat> Thanks for the moon and the stars up above. But most of all, thanks for the family I love. All right, friends, that's the end of our story time. Please help me sing The More We Get Together. The more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Thanks for joining me. I'm so grateful to all of my friends for watching each week. See you next time.